Oh god! I knew I didn't open it! God, I'm actually terrified. Oh god! Oh, stop it! Stop it! We're good. We're fine. You can't tell me this isn't the possessed body, man. I know it is. While you're doing this, and maybe... What is that? Rebecca, come down here. No. No, no. Rebecca. I'm good. I'm good. Mm -mm. Rebecca, come down here. No. You're not real. You you're you're not real. Rebecca. No. Oh my god, it's really not gonna let me go to the next step? Okay. Rebecca. Rebecca. What is this? Brother. Oh. So, little Raymond thinks he found a replacement. The most sacrifice to save his fucking skin. They're mannequins. They're all mannequins. It's fine. What? What? Ew! No, dude, I thought to... Is that is that relevant? Nine? Oh my god, okay. Remember remember there was a keypad in one of the dressers. And I thought it at first I thought maybe it was the key code that's on the back of Raymond's key card, but it was too long. It required too many numbers uh, because I think the code that I was given for this here is showing six digits, six different digits. And this is digit two, nine. Oh my God, the lore. Ugh. Okay, so we got, okay, so for the second one, we got number nine. And then I, it's, I imagine there's supposed to be a key in one of these mouths. That's what I'm imagining. Uh, no key. Okay, but four, we got another number, four, zero, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And then three is seven. And then do you have a key? Wait, has that one always looked at me? No mount, no, uh, no key. No, dude, no, I knew it wasn't. I knew it wasn't looking at me. Oh my, oh, that's so freaking good. That's so good. All right, um, no key. And also no, no number. Uh, okay, one, one is one. I got that. Ah, key card. Okay, I got it. But we're gonna keep looking. We need to find the rest of the numbers now. Uh, four, nine, uh, six is four. And I'm gonna just check the mouths. I don't think there will be anything, but I'm gonna check it anyways. And then this guy, five is four. Okay, I got the whole code. One, nine, seven, zero, four, four. If I am correct, this should be the code for the keypad underneath. <gasps> oh, 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 okay, I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Oh my gosh, that was the last one too. Oh man. Oh, okay. No, we're good. We're fine. We're fine. Is that an, is that a is that supposed to be another um? I gotta make note of that of that um symbol because I'm not sure if that's relevant to the name or not. That's Raymond. Is that supposed to be me or no? He's following me. Okay. David Whitlow. I'm not David Whitlow. Raymond? Sorry.
So that was all of another vision. Oh my gosh. So what I think happened is these demons inside of the building, inside the mortuary, are trying to show me like a dark past that's happened with Raymond. Maybe he's involved with the death of his last assistant and then he covered it up and then buried him? Or maybe not covered up, maybe it's not that sinister, maybe it's just his assistant died and he had to bury him and maybe it's his fault somehow. Or just the fact that him being Raymond's assistant is what got him killed, that might be as simple as that, you know, that could be it. Ooh, ooh, we got the last letter. Okay, let's find out where this is now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, it's a little J with a line through the middle. This is the last letter that we need. I can't hold anything else. Okay, uh, what can I drop? Oh, I have the cleaning solution. Let's just go... Did that open this door? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and put the cleaning solution in here, and that'll clean up another inventory slot for me. And then we finally have the name. Okay, so what's the name? What, what, what name do we have? Mark. Oh, this is... <laughs> That's not his name, that's just the name of this thing. A clay tablet used to tether a demonic entity to its chosen vessel. Cannot be dropped, but may be returned to the wardrobe. So, let's look at the, um... Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Alright, let's look at the J... Hook... Pi Z. J Hook Pi Z. Let's see what this demon's name is supposed to be. Uh, okay. Uh, it was this one, Invidious. It was this, this was the sign that I saw. J Hook Pi Z. It was, um, this one. Azul. Azul! It's Azul. We got the J here, we got the hook, we got the Pi, and we got the Z. It's Azul. I don't think the order of it matters. I think it's just a, co just a combination. Because this was the, um, the symbol that we saw above the giant demon thing. So that's an indicator of what house to look into. So now we know that because of that symbol, is it's the house of Invidious. And then, based on just the four symbols alone, we know that it's Azul. I'm probably butchering that name, but I know who it is. I know what body it is, too. I know damn well what body it belongs to. We're gonna burn this bitch. We're gonna burn him. I can't... I can't use that here. Huh? What? I already... I already have one of those. Okay, this is... this is wrong. What's going on? Oh, hey, Granny! Yeah. Hey, Granny! Don't you love your grandma? I'm fine. You gonna change it now? You're going to change. It's just a matter of time, bro. I know it. Anyways, let's continue. I'm almost done. You can't stop me. You cannot stop me. I am going to kill you. If that's even how that works. Return body to cold storage. So I know exactly which one it is. So I already used, I already did all three bodies. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey. You biatch. You are the one. I know you are. So, I don't know what that means exactly, what we have to do, but let's just take this mark, and maybe all we have to do is just, like, get him back out, put him, put the mark on him, and that'd be it. Let's try it out. Oh, but before we do that, I need to know. We have the six-digit code. I need to know what it does. All right, so we got one, nine, ooh, I have to, okay. One, nine, seven, zero, four, four. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. 
So we're not gonna finish the game yet. We could banish him like right now. I don't know if that's gonna end the game though. I want to figure out what this hatch is for. All right, I wanna know what's in the hatch. It could be some dark, dark secret from Raymond. I don't know, we'll find out. I'll find out exactly who I'm working for. All right, uh, hatch key. All right, let's see what's in here. More cleaning supplies. We got a shovel. Ooh, the shovel. Ooh, he did it. Ooh, I'm busted him up. I'm sorry. It is a great shame I will not be seeing you, but I appreciate you sharing this with me as this does seem to provide a reaction. And what you have made does make sense. It's a very clever way to identify a specific entity. However, I am curious as to the reason for the body identification aspect as you would need the blood of the possessed inside the vessel which i assume would already be the case and tendency would be obvious you would need the blood of the possessed inside the vessel my blood right or no i don't know so i don't really see the value of identifying the vessel however the demonic ident oh it's saying it's redundant it's redundancy because the blood of the demon of the demon is already in the vessel this redundancy however the demonic identification and binding aspect of this is fantastic thank you for sharing your work it's a great help to mine as you've requested i have returned everything with this this shipment with great respect akil who is akil okay i'm missing something Ooh, tape recorder this is a tape recorder somewhere May 29th, 1984. I'm not sure why I decided to write this. I don't keep journals, but it may be the only way I can deal with what's happened. To get my thoughts out, I thought this was over, but it's happened to David. I remember so vividly what it looks like. I don't have any plan here, I just wanted to write. June 3rd, 1984. I keep thinking about David. I feel horrible. What he became was terrifying. I, I hear some thumping. I remember everything, but I haven't seen it in a living person before. I knew in my gut what was happening, but I couldn't believe it. It's almost been two decades. When the body came in, David almost instantly began to become irritable. We both knew something strange was happening, but it directly affected him. He felt sick and went home for the day only to return that evening, saying that he felt he had to come back and wanted to work. At that point, I couldn't ignore it. I tried to tell him he was in danger, that this was all real. He insisted on working because it became irritate irrational again and asked to work alone. I again told him what to look for, but he dismissed me. I went and bought a camcorder and told him to at least record anything unusual. I wanted to be able to show him once he was in a moment of clarity so that maybe he would allow me to help him. But it all happened so fast and was over. What happened so fast? Okay, so between June and April. Oh, okay, so that's like two months. I don't know what else to do. I feel helpless. I'm so sorry, James. Why is my name in this journal? I'm just kidding. I'm sure it has nothing to do with anything. August 10, 1985. So another one more month. It won't stop. I don't know what to do. Obviously, not everyone is susceptible. I've learned that much. It makes me want to never hire anyone again, but I can't lose the mortuary either. It won't stop. I don't know what to do. Obviously, not everyone is susceptible. Even if I did close, it would still happen to me eventually. Wow. Okay, so it sounds like this man knows exactly what's going on. Everyone that he hires and brings into the mortuary is getting possessed by this demon or whatever, and it's killing all of them. And this man knows it's going on. This man understands that he just keeps on bringing more people and they all eventually pass. They all eventually just eventually just die. And he is still doing it to not let the mortuary close. And because if he doesn't have assistance, they'd come after him, I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm back to writing here again. This is November, so three months later. I'm back to writing here again. It's been so long I thought it was over, but I guess I've just been lucky. I'm scared. I was hoping this would never happen again, but I have a feeling this is only going to happen even more. Poor Angela. This is a horrible existence. I almost fell victim before. It's only a matter of time now until it chooses me. I don't want to be alone, but I think there is no escaping what has happened. I will miss you always, Maria, but it was the right thing to leave you, to keep you safe. I know you would never understand. Oh, so he actually left his wife, I guess, or girlfriend. I don't know. February 22. Fast forward another few months. I tucked this journal away and forgot about it, trying to move on. I found it again today, and I guess we have been in a horrible place for a while now. I can't live with all his this guilt. I feel so alone. I feel so angry at the life that's been taken from me. I stopped my life to take care of her and she brought this in. I can't blame her. That's not fair. It's not her fault. I have to find a way to stop this myself. I've just been sitting here huddled in fear hoping this won't happen again. That it won't happen to me. I don't have much money, but I need to start researching this in a real way. I need to take control. Alright, so now there's uh, some kind of tape recorder for me to find and play. Oh my god, all these sketches look like the one that's in my, uh, my inventory. Ah, tape recorder. More! Raymond. This is Raymond Delver. I... I know this will sound crazy, but I believe I am being possessed. 
If I am to disappear, know that it was not of my own free will, and that I am a danger to anyone I may encounter. I should be killed on sight. This sounds... This sounds terrible. But the woman locked in the basement must also be killed. There's a woman? So did he kill someone? Because if he's trying to, if he, if he were to get possessed, the blood of the, of the possessed would be his blood put into a diseased body to lock that demon to that dead body instead of him. And then he can mark it with the name, burn it, and then get rid of it. So to have a diseased body, is, is he sorry for like violating and like destroying these bodies or did he kill someone? And why is there a lady in the basement? I, I don't want to go in there. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, ooh, ooh, it's locked. We need to find another key of some sort, huh? Ooh, okay, um, no. Nothing in there. What is this? Oh my gosh, more journals. More lore! I've been working relentlessly and I believe I have made some progress. I haven't pieced together much, but I have found enough that has led me to a contact in Egypt. I'm flying out here. I'm, I'm trying to... My trip to Egypt was extremely successful and broke out now, but it was worth it. Mr. Sala is amazing help. I've come back with mountains of documents and copies of religious texts I had no idea existed. It's changed a lot of what I believe. I'm going to start pouring over these to see what I can piece together. There's something here. I can feel it. I'm so tired and angry. I feel so helpless. I can't do this anymore. Valerie didn't do anything to deserve this. None of them did. I can't bring myself to do it again. I'm keeping Valerie here. I can't. I can help her. I'm sure of it. I feel like I'm so close to something that can stop this, but I don't know what I'm missing. I've been working on a number of things meant to combat these entities. I've found ways to uncover their sigils, which is promising. I've distilled this down to a science, and I know I can find the missing piece. I will help you, Valerie. I hate what I've done. What I have to do. I have to feed her and care for her, even though she is violent and gone. This is far too similar to know to how this all began, and I hate it. God damn it, 30 years of this. I have a theory and I don't like it, but I can't let this happen. I to anyone else, this has to stop. I have some things I've been working on that I am going to send off to Mr. Sala and get his opinion. If it's a viable method, I'm going to keep, to take his take this head on. But I can't stop it, I keep it at bay. I received some great news from Mr. Sala. I've been fortunate enough to not have another compromised body up to this point, but now I need one. My plan now is to work in the mortuary alone until this happens again. If I can establish myself as a potential conduit and survive the possession using these tools, I think I may be able to take control as well as keep this from happening to others. I don't know what this means for Valerie. It's the only place, it's the only piece of this I don't know how to live with, but I might have to. Otherwise, it's all been for nothing. So Valerie is someone that he sacrificed so that he's not possessed or just someone that got possessed under his watch as his assistant. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I do know, however, that there is a key somewhere. I'm sure I'm not gonna have access to it yet. It'd be way too early in the game for me to like finally be able to go down there. But for now, I know I have a body to go burn. So let's go do that, yeah? Like I said, I know which body it is. I know the name, I have the mark. I am Red D. We'll close every door behind me. All right, RV, that is your name. All right, so now that I have his body, can I put, ooh. Yeah, just like that. Uh-huh. Is this correct? I hope I'm doing this right. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. So I was right. Good morning. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? Uh, I suppose a first name basis is in order. 
D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad. Dragushin, welcome. I know it's disorienting. Your favorite ending? Get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting for so, so long. What? What are you? Oh, no. What? The wrong demon. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking <laughs> idiot. How did I choose the wrong one? And drink it as it melts from the pit of a brain. <laughs> How did I choose the wrong one? What? There's no way it wasn't that guy. That guy had so many things wrong with him. Oh, I'm so mad. Okay, I, I was wondering about something. Does the order of the um the sigils place, does that matter? Because I had the correct sigils. I know I had the correct sigils, but does it matter what the correct name is? Like what the correct order it's in? Oh my God, dude. Oh, I'm so mad. Damn it. Damn it, I, I thought so. I really did thought so. That sucks. Anyways, thank you guys for being here. I'm already ending it right now. I, I got other things to do, so this is a good stopping point. I'll play more of this. I've already been playing this for an hour. That is fun. Oh my gosh, that is fun. That is really, really fun. Uh, but for now, I hope to see you guys all in another future stream. Feel free to follow, notification bell, all that jazz. Thank you guys for being here. Love you. Bye.